So for all of you out there who are wondering my opinions on certain girls who put out too fast. Well, this is a debate that a lot of people... I don't even say this is a debatable topic because a lot of people hold on to this notion that if certain girls or girls in general put out too fast, then that means that they're within that realm itself are sluts, whores, gold diggers, the worst kind of woman you can deal with. And a lot of the people, including people I have respect for, including a lot of people whose opinions I hold in high regards, at least in the realm of dating goes, holds this opinion, including one Donovan Sharp, who has made a video on why you should, ironically, try to sleep with women on the first date. And which I'll sort of discuss on that later, but as much as I respect his opinions, as much as I... Um, we have met a couple of times online at least, and for the most, well, not even for the most part, all of it, it's been cordial. But in this instance, I'm going to have to respectfully disagree with his staunch stance on how, and not just him, a lot of people's staunch stance on how sleeping with a woman, woman on the first date immediately disqualifies her from any sort of long-term potential relationship. Because it's simple. Well, it is simple when you think about it and when I explain it, but it's for a few reasons. One, yes, technically, we are the more aggressive sex. And nature, nature-wise, yes, we tend to want it more, but I do believe that women want it just as much. It's only this Puritan sex shaming society when at least in the case of women that has convinced them and men that women shouldn't want it as much as men otherwise they're evil versus the same men who want it or it's just in their nature to want it now i get it that feminism has is trying to turn that around and shame male sexuality while embracing female sexuality which that's just as messed up too and we all know what has occurred as a result of that. I mean, you're seeing all this Me Too stuff that's happening right now. And as expected, the Me Too campaign is stepping out of their boundaries with accusing one Aziz Sanari, um, the guy from the Netflix original Master of None, the Indian dude. Um, apparently, the worst thing I found that he was guilty of was... Um, one, having somewhat sloppy game, if that's what you want to call it, and two, basically not turning this chick who's trying to sleep her way to the top into a long-term um, partner. But that's a whole nother story. And, but speaking on that topic, women want sex just as much as men. Do not get fooled when they say, Women don't want it. I just want to take my time. Well, look, if they say they just want to take their time, here's some dating advice. Dump them. I'm serious. Dump them. And I don't mean the women who want to take their time in the realm of not sleeping with you on the first night, but they'll sleep with you on the second or third date. All right, that's one thing. As a matter of fact, a lot of, more, a lot of my relationships or a lot of the ones that have been successful have been with women who I have slept with on either the second or third date specifically. Now, Clutch, why do you say or why are you a proponent of women sleeping with you on the first date if, you're more, if your most successful relationships have been in the second or third? That's a good question. The matter of fact is, whenever I see a woman, whenever I meet with a woman, here's how I work. I'm not here to lounge around and uh, talk some malarkey bullshit with you back and forth. Nine times out of ten, well, that's a lie. 9.9 times out of ten, whenever I meet with a woman, the intention is the score. And for all of you out there, you, you all know what scoring is. Now, for me, personally... Scoring, or the time it takes for me to score, 
is irrelevant towards how I see a woman. But as a matter of fact, I'll put it like this. If we don't score within three dates, then as far as I'm concerned, I see you as someone who is what Alan Roger Curry likes to call a manipulative time waster. And those kind of women are much worse than any slut or whore or skink that men love to shame. I mean, it's quite stupid when you really think about shaming women for wanting what you want. I mean, put it like this. You have a job interview. You interview on the job. You do everything well. Or in some cases, you don't do everything well. You end up um, having this... A softball, well, a hardball question or curveball, curveball, curveball question thrown at you. You screw it up, and then you leave the interview feeling like crap. But they notify you, either on that same day or better yet, on the spot. That hey, when can you come in to work? Basically indicating that you got the job. Now, if somebody gave you a job, a good paying job. On the same day, which rarely happens, would you tell that job, "Oh, ill, I don't know. You're, this job seemed too easy to get. I know you. I know this job has six figures, and uh, you're letting me um, work from home half the three to four days out of the week, and I get my own company car, and I get my own freaking company laptop, and." I get all these fringe benefits and great health insurance. I don't know. And it's in uh, programming or something or, or medicine or something that has a high demand for employees. I don't know. Would you say that to your future employer? Same thing in my world applies to women. If a woman sees me as worthy enough to sleep with on the first night or even the second or third night, second or third date, then why give her shit? Why shame her and make her feel like a slut and blah, blah, blah? Even if you believe, honestly believe that she's a slut for sleeping with you too soon, why shame her? That's one of the many ways that guys talk themselves out of getting laid, or if they do get laid, that's how they talk themselves out of getting consistent lays. I mean, you guys um, talk, like a, like how Roger Curry said, a lot of you guys out here will try to get with this woman as quick as you can, you can and once she gives you son, you're like, oh, she's number, she's gay, she, she's a skank, oh my, <laughs> that's how a lot of you guys are, and then you wonder why you guys struggle and scrape and scratch when it comes to getting women in the first place, because alongside that, throwing away women who are sexually, if nothing else, sexually reliable, the, the shaming stuff has caused women to be so self-conscientious of their sexuality that they don't want to put out. Even if they want to, they, they just they, they stop themselves because society told them. And society, mainly men told them, I don't, I don't know, you, you could be on a freaking island in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and you and her. First time you meet up, she's like, she can still be like, I don't know. I don't know, you think, you think I'm a slut and blah, blah, blah. Because a lot of you guys, I don't know what the fuck it is. Honestly. And, and let's go by the principle that a lot of you guys believe as well. Well, if she isn't a virgin, she's probably a slut. Which, okay, let's just say that's true. If she is a slut... And if you want to be careful and not dealing with sluts, what would you rather have? Let's just say you can't get a virgin. There are no virgins around any um, that exists, literally, which um, hypothetically, it, that is the case for a lot of us. Let's be honest. 
uh, unless you have the magic key of dealing with 18 to 19 year old virgins and feel free to tell me that if you have the key to that make your own youtube channel because i mean that's other than the alpha male strategies that, that's going to be the quickest way to grow youtube channel how to get with 18 to 19 year old versions there you go but um for, for the rest of us out there who will likely not deal with a chick who's a virgin what would you rather have if, if they're all sluts right hypothetically speaking if they're all sluts would you rather deal with a slut who puts out to you on the first night, who sees you as worthy enough to put out to you on the first night? Or would you rather deal with a slut that makes you wait and wait and wait and do all these things, jump through all these hoops, roll all sorts of barrels, makes you dance like a monkey, has these platonic play dates in which you go to her house, eat ice cream, uh, watch Care Bears, uh, talk about who fought who in the last episode of My Little Pony, which whatever cat fight, even the pony fight occurred. I, I, would you rather have th- you rather have that? You're telling me you guys rather have that? Oh, oh yeah, while wow, she mentions. About the guy she's actually fucking. Who ended up pissing her off. Or who ended up being. He's an uh, he, This guy was an asshole. Why slap him? He's an asshole. You, you, want, you want that. huh? You, you want that. Give me the woman. Who has enough respect. For my time. My desires. And my needs. Any day of the week. I'd rather deal with that kind of woman. If I had to choose, then the woman who makes me wait and wait and wait, just like Donovan Shedden, doesn't just because she makes you wait, doesn't mean she's not a slut. It means she's hiding it faster. And in that case, I'll consider that a way worse than the woman who shows her colors or true colors of how she is sexually, versus one who wants to manipulate your time, waste your money, make you. you Buy all these ex- these extravagant meals. M- make you feed her drinks like she- she's a gas guzzler or drink guzzler. I mean, and that's what a lot of these women who don't put out are. These, uh, these are the female equivalents of Ford F-150s, of Dodge Rams, of those RVs you see people driving, especially during the summer, the vacation homes and... Um, parks, national parks, or in the middle of the desert, wherever. So, so what do you want to deal with? What would you rather deal with? A woman who respects you enough to put out on the first date, or a woman that makes you wait? And I don't mean wait until like the second or the third date. Okay, that, that's one thing. I, I, I get it. Women want to seems not be too easy, mainly because you men shame women who are too easy. She's a hoe. You put that too easy. Oh no, that would marry her. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe. And then you're the same guy who's talking about these women. They all they want thugs. They want thugs, pretty boys, and fuck boys. Make sure you guys subscribe. Um, what is it? This is hypocrisy. This is the pure definition of hypocrisy. And I know some of the, some of the guys who are going to listen to this are probably going to challenge it. And, and yeah, I may challenge some of the guy, things that guys say. A lot of the guys I do have respect for are, believe in. But let's look at the reality. We can't demand... You can't demand anything from anyone that you yourself aren't willing to uphold. So, what's the decision? What, where are we going to go as men? And believe it or not, we do set the tenor. Despite what feminism and um, Me Too, um, vagina, we're, pussy wearing, um, hat women want you to believe, we control the tenor. So, what is it? Or where are we going to go? We can, because this system of... Men, men shaming women for being sexually liberal, 
although we want women to be sexually liberal because, I mean, if we didn't, we, we wouldn't have these PUAs and these dating coaches telling men to holler at 50 women a day or go to the night, go to the club. You got you to gotta go to the club. You aren't a real man unless you go to the club and you holler at 50 women per day, 18 straight days, and uh, all this bullcrap. You know what would get rid of the nightclub scene? You know what would get rid of having the need to holla at 50 chicks? You know what would make it easier for men, like Alpha Male Strategy says, to be on their grind? Is to have more sexually liberated women. And as far as I'm concerned, you all can choose the path, or, or, or I should say this, are you going to choose the path of women being sexually prudent with the need for us being the same or are we going to be sexually satisfied along with women i hope that makes sense are, are we going to choose the path of every of nobody puts out Everybody plays the game, plays, acts like, well, I got, we got to go out in this day, in this movie, and this, and this picnic. Or, or are we just going to get down to business? Or are we just going to um, find the people we find sexually attractive, go out for a drink or a coffee or, or go to someone's house? And if we don't put out on that night, then put out during the next two times you meet up. And say it's A-OK -okay for both genders to do that. Or as I say, are, are we going to go back to society where everyone just acts like they don't want any? And then, oh no. And you guys can sexually shame women all you want. As far as I'm concerned, ladies, I'm not simping. No, I'm not defending outlandish behavior, truly slutty behavior, like you having a boyfriend and cheating, buying his back on some bad boy or, or whatever, or especially if you're married. Now, if you're married and if you commit infidelity, you're a fucking slut. If you have a boyfriend or someone you promised to be sexually exclusive with and then you sneak out on him, you're a slut. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll give you that. If you... I don't know. So if your sister... Or your friend has a boyfriend or husband, you sleep with him, yeah, that makes you a slut. Yeah, there, there are there is there are such things as sluts. There is such a thing as a slut, but uh, let's be reasonable with this. And more importantly, let's not shoot ourselves in the foot. Unless you want to continue with the meteoric, or meteoric, mediocre age of... Having the game women, and I got buy a drink, go to the club, holla. You want, you want that shit? Go on ahead. All I know is that the more we have to appease, the less we have the chance to please. And by please, I mean pleasing ourselves. Everyone else out there, always better next.